Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of June 21st through the 27th of 2023. And at this time, I would also like to give a very special thank you to all of you who have been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow. Thank you very much for doing that. As well as those who have watched my videos and give them thumbs up. Thank you again. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Look at you go. Money coming in. This could be for some of you. It could actually be a winning. A little bit of a win for some of you. Maybe that way. This is um, a career break. Changes coming in for you. You know, it's starting to go the way you want it to. Maybe you got that job offer finally. So more rate of pay. You're starting to feel more accomplished this week. You know, you're finally getting to see the light at the end of the tunnel for yourself. Things are starting to happen in a good way. You know, you're letting go of things that have not served you and you're moving forward on a positive note. Things are really starting to change. Ooh, and the star card. So they're definitely changing. You're believing in yourself. You're starting to feel a little more optimistic. You're starting to um, just understand the different things in your life. You're very good at, you know, taking big steps and seeing not much result. But this is the time it's taking less steps and bigger results. So good for you. You know, you're starting to open up to receiving and the universe is delivering right to you. Ooh, some of you are actually thinking of making a move. On to calmer, better shores, different areas. You know, maybe you've been holding yourself back where you're at, not moving forward for fear that, you know, if I do, what am I going to accomplish? But I think in this case, it's an opportunity. Maybe you're being offered a better position and a job, but you have to be over here to do it. So some of you are, you know, just moving lock, stock, and barrel and, and setting yourself free because you know you can't keep holding yourself back forever and expecting things to change. So you're changing your direction in your life so that you can move forward, something that's more calmer. And you can see in the horizon that, you know, the people, places, and company that you keep are not going to change. The only thing that's going to change is your outlook at them and the knight of swords so definitely taking a trip here usually by air you know a quick trip maybe you're going to visit somebody somebody's coming to visit you and in some cases this could also be in a relationship starting to cool down maybe you're starting to see that you know ah, i'm tired of you know always having same old, same old, and nothing seems to be changing. So you're letting, you know, um, people in your life know. You know, you're standing your ground and telling them that, you know, this is unacceptable. You wouldn't allow this, me to do this to you. So why are you doing this to me? That sort of thing. But I think for many of us, this is going to be a, a trip, a happy one. You're going to, it's going to be fast. It's not going to be for like months and months, but just an unexpected trip because you want to take it and the price is right so off you go and that's not something that you do very often for yourself and the queen of cups so very nice you know you're making some real headway in your future here going forward and some of you use this as you know um perhaps even a, a new romance I don't know why I couldn't say that. <laughs> but you're following your intuitions here, you know. You, you're very developed in your growth of relationships. And you realize that, you know, there's, there's signals that you're willing to put up with and not. And this can be in uh, family as well. You know, maybe you've accepted a lot of things and a lot of attitudes from different people. And you're just not anymore. You know, you've got the wisdom to understand that, you know, they're not going to change, so I'm going to attitude. 
And there you go. Eight of Pentacles. Hard work. Taking some schooling for yourself for many of you. Going back, you know, understanding where you've had some shortcomings of in order to move up the corporate ladder. And now you're willing to put your head down and, and you know, get moving again to make things move forward. But this is going to be a very lucky time for you. You know, it's like beginner's luck starting all over. People are willing to help you. You know, in some cases, depending if it's schooling, even give you the proper answers. You know, you're, you're just moving. People like to help you. You just have that charisma about you that people accept you for who you are, but they also know that you're serious. You know, you, you like to joke a lot and, and you like to get along with people, but when it comes down to, you know, succeeding and moving forward, you're all in. And the Four of Cups, there you go. You know, you're a little bit bored at this time. Maybe you're just cooling your jets a little bit, trying to watch your... You know, your money, trying not to move too fast, trying not to, you know, do a lot of things you're trying not to do this <laughs> this week for some reason. You know, don't, you're trying not to overeat or overdrink too much. You know, you're trying not to overindulge yourself because, you know, at the end of the week, you'll regret it. So you're trying to slow yourself down and take things a little bit slower. Because usually when you make your mind up to do something, boy, you're all in. And the Seven of Cups. So there you are. You know, you really have a lot of wonderful ideas. You always do. You're, I don't think your mind ever shuts off. You know, you always have things that you want to do, places you want to go. You know, you're never in lack of ideas for anything. You're very creative. You're talented. And when, like I said, you want things to happen... You know, you're willing to put your head down and, and make it happen. You you put all the energy and effort into seeing it succeed. And the Knight of Cups. Well, there you are. You know, there is definitely a travel in your future for you. There's no doubt about it. And this is usually by water. So maybe you're taking a cruise line. Maybe going out and sitting in a... You know, inner tube in the middle of the lake, that's a trip across water too. Doesn't have to be for long distance. Uh, this could be, you know, uh, somebody offering you a cup of puppy love. You know, maybe somebody's had a crush on you for a long time and they're going to tell you this week. And you're sort of like, uh, yeah. But you're not, you know, jumping all over it. You're accepting it. But you're still moving forward on your own pace. You know, this is good news about romance, family. You're thrilled. You're making good investments. There's reconciliation here on the table for some of you as well. You know, this is uh, uh, romance. Could be even a birth of a child in the family as well for some of you. You know, it's totally unexpected. You know, things are starting to just come about. It's not that you haven't wanted it. It's just, you know, you're realizing that you're trusting yourself more. You're feeling more inspired. <laughs> and you're willing to put the effort into breaking the ice in some cases if that's what needs to be as well. And the Ace of Pentacles. Very lucky week for you. There's more money coming in. You're moving up the corporate ladder. You're having more material gains. You're feeling more empowered. You're starting to feel more better about your finances. You're starting to be able to breathe a little bit more. It's not that you've been in lack of anything. It's just that you've always made sure that you watched very carefully with your spending because you've been in the past that you've had to do without You've sacrificed to do without in order to move forward and it's never really came about. So this week it's, you know, the universe is handing you this help, overdue help. And the strength card, there you are. You know, you're refusing to give up on anything that you've set your mind to accomplish. You're curbing your impulses. You know, you're finally winning that pay raise. For many of us, this is going to be you know, tangible goods for sure. There is money here coming in. You've earned it for all it's worth. And then the hermit. 
So you're taking that time to yourself. You're shutting off the phones. You just want to have a little bit of quiet time all onto yourself to think about all that's happened this week. You know, all the things that's come in, the new job, the money, the increase, you know, where am I going to go with this? You know, and that might be why you're taking that little bit of a vacation there for yourself because you're rewarding yourself for all your efforts. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card, but your cards are very positive this week. Boy, are they positive. Good jobs, money, opportunity. Moving up the corporate ladder. And it's going to be easy. You're not going to have to do a lot of effort to make it. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through steady, through study, prayer, and meditation. Very nice. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.